The Prime Minister has declared Bill Shorten's previous behaviour as a union leader would make him a criminal under new laws. The attack came after the Senate passed legislation which bans so-called sweetheart deals between employers and unions. It started with a smile. Well, good morning. But soon got down and dirty. Bill Shorten was there defending corruption and secrecy. Officially, it was trumpeting new laws banning secret payments between employers and unions, but their real target was personal. Who was on the side of corrupt union officials? Yes, you're right, it was Bill Shorten. Restating evidence about Mr Shorten from the union's Royal Commission. Who gets onto an employer's private jet, enjoys a holiday in Cuba while sipping Cristal champagne. Claiming the Labor leader's conduct would now be illegal during enterprise agreement negotiations. Under these new laws, he would be found a criminal and put in jail, is that uh, right? Potentially that is correct. Conduct of uh, Mr Shorten... If it were repeated? If it, if it were repeated under these laws would attract uh, criminal sanctions. Yes, that's right. The Royal Commission, ordered by Tony Abbott, made no adverse findings against Mr Shorten. Malcolm Turnbull should apologise to Bill Shorten and do so before question time. He didn't, Labor claiming it's a diversion from revelations about Victorian Liberal leader Matthew Guy's encounter with an underworld boss and of former Liberal Minister Bruce Bilson accepting lobbying payments while still in Parliament. What's this all about? In a word, character. Malcolm Turnbull trying to destroy Bill Shorten's to make voters think twice before electing him Prime Minister. Mark Riley, 7 News.